what contribution can orthodoxy make to the Western world? And let me speak here from my own experience in England, the country where I live. What have we orthodox to offer? We are a very small minority in Britain. But though we are a minority, it's possible that we could have an influence far greater than our numbers. As Orthodox, we believe that within our church tradition there is to be found the fullness of truth and life. But what does that signify in practice? What have we to offer? And we need, I think, to be quite humble in our orthodox approach. Let us not be quick to pass judgment on Western society, to start condemning secularism and materialism. But let us, as orthodox, try to offer a message that is positive. We are living in a society in the West that suffers from a basic loss of hope. What can we say to people in this situation? This loss of hope is in many cases personal. People no longer see any meaning to their life. But the loss of hope is also involving the whole of our society. We feel that something has gone wrong with our Western society. We've somewhere taken the wrong turning, but we don't know how to correct this. Now, for me, the heart of orthodoxy lies in its life of prayer. First of all, the divine liturgy, and joined to that, never to be separated from it, personal prayer, the tradition of inner prayer. And I think that orthodoxy can offer hope through those two things. Through the divine liturgy and through the tradition of personal prayer, above all, the Jesus prayer. Now to many people this may seem very theoretical and too idealized, but I believe that is where we Orthodox should begin when we think of our contribution. We don't necessarily have economic views that are superior to those in the West, but I do believe that in our heritage of prayer we have something to offer. Now, for me, as a Westerner brought up outside orthodoxy, when first I went to the Divine Liturgy, what impressed me was the sense of joy in the Eucharistic service that orthodoxy expresses. Exactly the joy of the resurrection, the joy of the heavenly kingdom. I felt very strongly the unity between heaven and earth in our orthodox services. That, I believe, is something we must seek to offer to contemporary society. In the divine liturgy, we offer the world back to God with thanksgiving. And that 
is the only way in the end that we can bring hope to our society. And then, on the level of personal prayer, one of the things that I have discovered through orthodoxy and that has changed my life is the use of the Jesus prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Now, we can use that prayer in two ways. We can use it as part of our prayer time when we are alone in our room, when we are trying to pray and not doing anything else. That is part of the use of the Jesus prayer. But also the Jesus prayer can be used as we go about our daily life, as we walk from one place to another, as we wait for something to happen, when in our personal encounters with other people we are confronted with a difficulty and we don't know what to say. On all these occasions, inwardly, secretly, silently, we can say once or several times the Jesus Prayer. And in this way, the Jesus Prayer, for me, bridges the gap between the sacred and the secular. It is a way of bringing prayer into my daily life. And, yes, perhaps to unbelievers round us, it may not help to talk openly about the Jesus Prayer. They are not ready to understand this. But at least even if we do not talk about the Jesus Prayer, all that we say can be from the Jesus Prayer. Through the invocation of the Holy Name, we have a way of bringing the presence of Christ into our daily life. And if we can do this, even if we do not mention the name of Christ, if we still bear witness to what we learn from his presence, then we can make a living and positive contribution to our life in the West. So, to me, these are two treasures that orthodoxy can offer and can use in Western society. The divine liturgy, the inner prayer through the invocation of the holy name of Jesus. Thank you.